Hey, this is a video on creating edgeware and dirt masks using the new version of Quick Texture for Blender 3.5. After the short time lapse is done playing, I'll just be covering every single hotkey and setting for all the new masks on a simple object. If you'd like to see more Quick Tools videos, please like and subscribe, leave comments with what you would like to see in the future. I'm mostly hard at work right now on the new updates, which are going to have customizable hotkeys and lots of the community requested features and just you know continue to improve quick tools as much as i possibly can um, i love using them i can't i really couldn't work without them at this point so all my focus is just on continuing to improve them but i also want to keep making videos as well so just let me know if you want to just check out some of the basics you're just getting started please check out the other videos on my channel i have introductions i have just like practical demonstrations i have videos where I just go through every setting, so be sure to check that out. So for the first workflow in this video, make sure that you are on cycles for your render engine. And then let's just go to material preview, press control T to launch quick texture. I'm just going to choose some random texture here, something with color. Okay. It's going to be my first layer, and then I'm going to make a second layer with Control B. I'm going to select something like this. So the way that it's going to work is it's going to blend between these two layers based on a mask. So over here we're going to see Control C, mask by cavity. So that's going to be edges. Let's actually make sure that we are in cycles. Okay. So now I'm going to press Control C when I'm on the second layer. And that's going to create this black and white mask and you have all these settings here you know you can control the radius you can even control the noise here to add some more breakup so like something like that change the contrast of that the value of that and this creates some really nice organic looking breakup here and then i'm just going to press one which is going to preview the combined and now Boom, it's done. Really nice looking, really easy to do um, edgeware. If you were to select this area and you extrude it, you'll see that the edges get automatically updated. This goes for both the edgeware and the AO dirt mask. It's just going to procedurally generate. It doesn't matter what your geometry is or anything like that. Next, I'm going to press backspace, which will delete the mask. So now you can see I'm back to my two layer situation. I have my first layer when I press Q, I have my second layer when I press W, and now instead of doing an edge mask, I'm gonna do the AO mask, which is just um, where the occlusion is. So this is good for dirt, but also if you reverse it or invert it, it's good for dust. So I'm gonna press Control A, and there it is. Same settings, you press H, move it around, you can hold alt to make it move faster and that's that you can change the noise here as well and then I'm gonna press again either one to preview or I can just click it and then when I control control T again it, it uh, updates and that's gonna be the dirt and grime it doesn't look very good with this color so let me just really quickly go to my First, my second layer, I'm gonna just hold, press V to adjust the value down. I'm gonna go to four to my mask. I'm gonna change this radius down. Then I'm gonna press one to see the final result. And that, again, might not be perfect. Another thing that you can do that's very useful, just as a, a side, besides the point of the mask, you can press a tab when you're in masks, and that'll preview the final result but still give you the settings from the mask. So now when you press H, you can do this, very helpful. Let's bring the value down. And that might be a lot more appealing. Let me make the value brighter. So that's the dirt mask. And of course you can stack as many of these as you want. We can have up to five layers in quick texture. So you can blend between any of those layers with these masks. So for masking by vertex color, you don't need to be in cycles. You can be an Eevee. And now we have here our simple material, two layers, 
all you have to do is go into your vertex paint go over to where that color attribute is and I find that it helps to delete this default one it's nice to just uh, fill it with black automatically then you can name it you don't have to uh, just make sure it's like that and then it's going to solid so we can actually see it so it's good that it filled in black because now wherever we paint white um, let's actually do it around the edges so it kind of makes sense for what we were doing let's say something like that doesn't matter and now you can just go back into your render view and when you're in quick texture if you're on the second map all you have to do is make sure that this vertex color is selected so if you have like seven of them it doesn't matter just whichever one is the active one that's the one that matters and then you press shift V shift V give it a second and we are now blending between layer 2 and layer 1 based on this specific vertex color so that is really useful a lot of people requested it and it's actually it really is awesome because uh, the UVs don't matter it's just based off your object geometry okay so that covers all of the masks uh, thank you guys for watching I'll see you guys in the quick tools discord or the next video